Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben, and welcome back, Framework Fortune community. If you are a part of the Framework Fortune community or you are new, be sure to hit the description and join the Discord where we have all types of market content from stocks, futures, cryptos, and NFTs, especially Gods Unchained, which is what we're getting into here the Gods Unchained Marketplace and how I've been using my years of experience as a trader in the stock market and then the year and a half that I have now as a crypto trader. NFTs, I've got about six months of experience, but all in all, it's all the same. It's just charts, just price action, and I've made some pretty nice Gods Unchained NFT trades in a quick amount of time but we'll talk about that and how to try to utilize token trove which is a nft marketplace powered by immutable x if you don't know what immutable x is it is a layer two built on top of ethereum that is a full nft marketplace as well as developmental project where multiple projects can be made on top of it including the layer three gods unchained you can find gods unchained cards on open seas but i don't recommend it open sea marketplace is a little bit more wilder and you're probably going to get jerked with some of the prices uh, if you do want to try to go and sell in that wild west of a marketplace, you could and maybe make some profits. But I like to stick with things that seem a lot more stable and safe and OpenSea is not my favorite. So the Immutable X marketplace isn't too bad. But when you look at like some of the prices on these cards, like this is a common and divine order. There's a whole lot of supply of these and this person has it you know, listed for 450 million dollars you know that's just craziness nobody's going to buy a common like that for that price but you can switch between ethereum gods guild of guardians imx usdc and omi i'm not familiar with and you do have a little sword over here but i'm not going to go into a full tutorial of how to use this marketplace because token trove is by far my favorite marketplace and on Token Trove, you can see we got book games over here, Ember Sword Land and Gods Unchained. But first, I'm going to show you how to get to both the Immutable X Marketplace and Token Trove within a couple of different ways besides just bookmarking them. For instance, if you go to your Gods Unchained platform and you go to market here, go to buy and sell, this will take you directly into that Immutable X Marketplace. Now, if you're not using gudex.com, I highly recommend that you use it. GU Dex, GU for Gods Unchained. This is a fantastic website if you are a player or if you are an investor of the NFTs and you want to go through the cards. I'll be doing a tutorial more in depth on Gudex as well as Token Trove in the future, but this video is just pretty much an overview. Real quickly, if you click the meta tab, It'll bring you to all this information. You see there are multiple types of decks, their win percentages, popularity matches, and you can sort this by all types of different things. You can see the top decks over certain time periods. And then you can also get match results where you can go and check your own username and see how your matches have been going. Card rankings is really good. This is part of my Gods Unchained NFT strategy because you want to see the cards that are winning and see the cards that are popular. So one of the things you can do is come down here, click on this sort, and you can see percentage index right here, the Marsh Walker, 97.8%. So even though this deck win rate's not that great, this is a very popular card, but a really nice feature where you can go see what cards are gaining in popularity and losing popularity as well as the deck win rates and the prices now the player stats tab is right here type in your own username you'll be able to see your progress for your weekend ranked if i go and put in framework fortune here it'll pop right up and you see i currently am in midnight shadow been doing a lot of testing and dropping quite a bit last weekend was rough i started out in solar gold but you have this whole thing here showing all the decks, the win rates, 
and then those matchups as well that you see at the match results. There's a very nice library of all the cards you can go through, but we're going to get to the marketplace by just clicking on marketplace. And this is going to take you directly to the God's Unchained portion of Token Trove. So this would be the one that you want to bookmark if this is the only NFTs that you are trading. If you do just go to tokentrove.com, you come over here and click Gods Unchained, it's going to take you to the exact same place. So it's just an extra step. Instead, just bookmark this and roll with that. But this is the marketplace that I use, and they have done some very nice upgrades in this past couple of weeks, actually adding the volume along with the price percentage changes over the past three days as a trader as someone who looks at this all the time in all the markets this is amazing for trading nfts and another thing they have is charts i'm a technical analysis trader no matter what the asset is actually seeing a line chart gives you a good idea in different time periods uh, maybe some nfts that are up trending in price that may have not spiked yet just like this guy here this elephant mount i'm sure there's a lot of people who have these and haven't minted them but there's only 2900 on the marketplace so you look at this chart really close on may 22nd which was two days ago they were around nine cents the next day they started popping up to 11 cents and then just had a big spike up to 29 cents. Now we do have some listed right now, and this is an Ethereum for 39 cents. If you change the currency, then the chart is going to change to that currency. So it's not going to look the same. So you see when I click on God's, this seven day chart is completely different. Most of the volume, which just means the amount of transactions per time period. So if you're looking over that three day time period, each one of these little bars represents a day and that's how much volume. So this one we had two, so we had a little bit higher spike of volume. And then on this day we had eight. So you had a whole lot more transactions leading to the volume bars. So the more volume, the bigger the volume bars. Now there's a few different patterns I like to look for on charts when it comes to different assets that's something we'll definitely be getting into more in the future but you can always just check out my day trading lessons on frameworkfortune.com or check out the crypto lessons here on this channel and that's going to explain a lot more in detail the strategies that I use with technical analysis. And it's the same across all the assets. So with Token Trove you have all this same type of setup on this side where you can go through the set pick the set you can go through the rarity you can go through the quality because there's different types of quality with god's unchained nfts meteorite is the base these are what come out of the packs that you buy however the core cards the gray cards that you get out of the packs for playing leveling up it takes two of those to mint into one of these meteorite quality cards and there's a whole thing in the forge that you can go to that explains all of this. And Shine Forging is actually about to open up. Up until this point, the core set fusing was the only thing that was live. And now you're going to be able to actually fuse up to these higher qualities. And you can see this is shadows, purple, gold, of course, looking very nice. And then diamond. Now, I don't know how the market is going to be affected by the shine forging because that has not been around so the only way to get shine cards has been to get them out of packs by random or buying one of the more expensive legendary packs that guarantees some type of shine nft and at the moment there's not really a reason to have these higher shine nfts but soon, God's development team has said that decks that do have higher quality NFTs in them will get paid out higher amounts of God's token during the weekend events or other events, something like that. It's not actual official yet, but that is something they're aiming for. So until that point comes, I don't see a reason unless you just like to have the highest qualities to really go after like a whole bunch of these because the higher the quality the higher the prices so for instance we're just going to put in the demogorgon and then we're going to put the quality back to all 
So you can see a meteorite quality is $440, a gold quality is $4,000, the shadow is $858, and then a diamond one is $39,000, almost $40,000. So when you're looking at the cards from this perspective, right here at the top, these two numbers are very important. So this number here, the first number, 126 on this Demogorgon, is the amount of Demogorgons for sale. Second number, this 3,798, is the amount that exists on IMX and Ethereum chain. I guess it is possible that these could get taken off chain somehow, but majority of the supply is going to be here. And that's very important because when you're looking for these quick NFT trades or swing trades, which means you're holding it for like two, three weeks, maybe a month, or maybe you're just long-term investing with a slow supply and it's being a very popular and strong card like the Demogorgon in a set like Genesis that can't be changed. It's a locked set. That's why you see such a high price on this. Now, we look at the diamond, there's only two for sale and six in existence. Let's actually click on it though, and you can see all time. The last time one of these sold was January 1st for about $37,000 in Ethereum. I doubt any sold in gods. Nope, there's not even any for sale in gods. Yeah, the only two are right here for $40,000. So it's been six months since one of these sold. If it is a card like that where you're trying to fetch a really high price, then you're probably going to have to sit on it for a long time because most players in the game are probably not going to want to fork out $40,000 for a card. However, as the game continues to grow, if we get into millions of players and it becomes in the esports world, then we could see professional players coming in who have the money to try to get the highest quality and strongest cards for their decks and we may see these type of cards selling for this price but these are not really what i'm interested in till after the shine forge goes through but anyway i always like to go over here and set the quality to meteorite that's what i trade in and then coming back here and looking at the basic cards besides just the supply up here we have that volume again, how many of these have been sold over the last three days, 86 of them, or bought and sold, I should say. Price has changed 16% in three days, so it's green, it's uptrending. One of the strategies you can do with these really, really cheap NFTs, if you think that they're going to go up and they're a popular card, you could buy a portion of them cheap, say like maybe 100 of them, instead of thinking of it as just... 100 NFTs of the same card, you would think of it more like 100 shares or 100 tokens into this card that you would then be able to turn around and sell if the price was to spike like we see here. So a 4 cent move up to 20 cents is a very big move. So it would take more of these cards to try to make a bigger profit. I have not really got into going that low price. I like to stay in the rarity level of legendary, epic, and rare. And if we change this right here to price, click the lowest price to highest price, so we put the highest price first. These are high price, but there's no volume on them. There's one of these bought in the last three days. You want people to be able to buy it so you've got to be looking for those popular cards that people want to buy, where the demand is at, but also has the low supply, which is why the Demogorgon was a perfect example. I like to come down into this 100 to $20 range, and I like to look at cards in sets that are closed. So the only sets that are closed are Genesis, Trial of the Gods, and now Divine Order, which just recently closed. You can no longer buy these packs. You can only find everything on the secondary market. But those three are locked. The cards are not going to change. So with that in mind, it's a little bit easier to gauge maybe some of the price movement. So that which aches, really low supply NFT, very strong card, 
we could go in here and look at it. You can see there's only 1,841 in existence. You know, if there's 100,000 players in Gods Unchained, that means that only 1,800 of them people are going to be able to play with this card. So we click on here, we can see the chart. This is a month chart. At the beginning of the month, it was up 119, dipped all the way down to $60, and has came back up to 81 78 somewhere in that area so we look back on the all-time chart we can see that the witch eggs was all the way up at the beginning of this year around 318 dollars 250 something like that it had a nice spike but it sold off because i believe the mortal judgment set had a lot of people selling the older cards and it's actually down to this line right here which if you look back on this chart it also is a line right there that's actually what's called a support area when you see a floor building under the price so we are hitting a support area where we could see a possible bounce on that which x being such a good card you really don't have anybody who has it really wanting to sell it at these prices because they're probably making more money in Mythic rank winning with using that Witch Eggs. So I limit down the sets I'm looking at, and I also limit down by the popularity when we're looking at Gudex, the god. Which god is the highest win rate god? Seeing magic starting to get more popular, and we switch this over here to magic god, then we can see if there's any price movements happening. So instead of sorting it by price though, on this one, I'm going to sort it by price change. And the highest price change we have is Stormfield, a Divine Order card, which you can tell by a little emblem up there. And it is a epic purple diamonds on the side. It has shot up 72% over the last three days and had a volume of 69 transactions. So you click on that and you can see all those volume bars. So there are multiple strategies that you can experiment with and try out, but I'm going to go into more detail and videos in the future of my strategies that I'm using that are working out, out of Gods Unchained from trading cards, and also been able to get to some higher price cards without having to invest any of my own money from trading some of these NFTs up. So you can experiment with all of this and try to build your own strategy, but if you have no experience in trading any type of assets or markets, be sure to subscribe. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.